Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you're having an incredible day, an even better week. Today we're going back to our favorite place, Disneyland. I mean, Club Champion. Uh, I was, it was time, it was due time for me to get uh, fit for Fairway Woods. I've been playing an old uh, Tour Edge Exotics um, that was six or seven years old, and my hybrid, I think, is even older. And so I play to like an eight. I'm, I consider myself more of a middle to high handicap, uh, regardless of what my handicap says. Um, and so we did this kind of in two parts. So I'll show you today will be the fairway woods. We'll do hybrids at a later date. But I was surprised at the end of the day, um, the incredible results I got. I mean, I've gained, and you'll see if you, an incredible amount of yards, um, but the control. And, and so my, I guess my point is, if you haven't been fit and you're new to golf or you've been golfing for 100 years, do yourself a favor and get fit. Um, because I struggle with my fairway woods forever. Um, I got fit and... You'll probably hear, I joke during this fitting, is uh, it's probably the best fairway woods I've ever hit in my life. Um, so if you have a club champion near you, if you're in the Cleveland market, go see my guy Mike Snodgrass. Mike is one of the best fitters, I think, in the country. Uh, and if you have a club champion near you, definitely check it out. Do yourself a favor. If you use my name, Jeff Herman, and I'll put it here, somewhere up here below, um, or the phrase modern golf, uh, you'll get a nice savings off your fitting. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I did for this because I got a lot of feedback on the last driver fitting was you wanted more information after each club. So we're doing that. I'm going to voice over all that stuff so you guys will see as we go um, really what the specs were, uh, ball speed, swing speed, total distance, total smash, pros and cons of each one. And then at the very end, uh, we will wrap up to kind of explain the one we went with, um, the reason why, and uh, I think you guys will figure it out pretty quick. I can't say you'll figure it out pretty quick, but they were all solid contenders. So today you'll see Titleist. Um, I, I tell you who we tried. Some may not make this video, but Titleist, PXG, Cobra, Ping, uh, TaylorMade, Callaway. All right, Cobra. I don't know if I mentioned. I may have mentioned Cobra twice. Um, all really good when we finally got spec'd out to what I was looking to do. Um, so do yourself a favor and get it checked out. And again, I'll come back when you watched it all and then kind of wrap up and let you guys know uh, who the winner was. All right, guys, so let's get this started. So Current Gamer is a Torrid Exotics EX10 that was, I just saw, it had made, made me laugh, a 2017 Hot List winner. Uh, there's a beautiful picture of it. It's a four-wood, 16 degrees. Um, I think, as I mentioned, I really lack control and distance and I think you'll see and I'll try to shut up here as much as I can but really not getting anything more out of this than I would a fairway would or excuse me a hybrid So I think you'll see the specs on this. I'm maybe carrying it 200 at max. Um, this is a rogue shaft that was kind of a standard with this club back in the day. Um, and you can see it's not the easiest thing for me to control, but just overall not getting everything I need out of this club. So first, I would say crash test dummy, but first club we're trying is the Ping G430. Uh, we tried this in a bunch of different shafts, but I think we ended up on the CS, uh, and you'll see both in stiff and regular, uh, and to see how it goes. Now, I probably took 15 or 20 swings with this club, but as you can see, Distance way better, uh, control somewhat better. Uh, we were playing with the lofts and lie with this as you can do with ping. But overall, we really, really liked um, the, the G430 Max. Here are some of the things we liked about it. 
the looks, the feel, the distance, consistency, and really the cons, really not a ton. Uh, more Indian than the Arrow uh, for this. The Ping G430 Max specs is how we kind of looked at this. Average distance was around 235, swing speed 92 miles an hour, ball speed 137, and smash right around 147. So really strong coming out the gate with Ping. Next one up was the TaylorMade QI10 Max. Uh, there is a 16 degree, so a little more loft. And we used the same CX, and then we started introducing a graphite design uh, AD shaft, which was in between a stiff and regular, which was very interesting and got really, really good results out of that shaft. And you'll see that shaft end up being the winner uh, for most of this contest. So Taylor made what is really strong. Uh, pros will say distance, cons looks and feel. It looks dated. Uh, I know it has a little bit of a carbon fiber look. I don't love the date. It looks like it was from 15 years ago, but um, it, it was okay. Uh, Taylor made average distance was around 233, swing speed 91, ball speed 131, smash factor 142. Really surprised with the Taylor made. So the next one up, Mike was so impressed with the results uh, from the Ping 430 that he grabbed a 425 max uh, and turned it up to 16 and a half degrees. Um, and you'll see here the results, and again, surprising. So the Ping G425 average distance was 237, swing speed 92, ball speed 138, smash factor about 147, really good. Uh, Ping four, G425, the pros to me, looks, feel, flight's consistent, and price the cheapest of everything. Next guy up, the Paradigm AI Smoke 3 Max. What I will say is if you haven't seen this or any of the Paradigm Woods this year, they are all absolutely stunning and incredible to look at. We kept the same shaft between the C6 uh, and the Graphite Design AD between that stiff and regular flex point. And we had some nice results, and you'll see here with the Callaway. The only thing we really noticed with this that was very different was how high the ball flight was. So Callaway Paradigm Max, swing speed 93, ball speed 136, smash 1.45, total distance around 223-ish. Overall, really liked it, but just wasn't the best of the bunch. Um, the, the pros, certainly the looks and the feel were very good. The cons, um, haul, very, haul, very high ball flight and very heavy feel, the heaviest of the group. The next one up was the dark speed. We didn't use the Max, we used the X, but... Uh, we actually tried both, so I put the picture up. Uh, if you haven't got your hands on a Cobra driver or fairway wood uh, or hybrid, as you'll see in another video of ours, they are incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible.
So to wrap up on the Cobra Dark Speed, Swing Speed 89, Ball Speed 133, Total Distance 235, Smash 1.47. Really, really liked uh, the Cobra Dark Speed. Great looks, feel, consistent flight. Really don't have too many cons uh, with this one whatsoever. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, as you guys saw, there were a number of really good contenders. Um, Taylor made Callaway, uh, both pings. Cobra, obviously, a total game changer, I think, in this marketplace in the last couple of years. Um, if you haven't checked out Cobra, um, do yourself a favor. Their drivers, I think, one of the two or three best I've ever hit uh, in the last year or two, um, and their fairway woods are great. So as you guys watched, the Ping G425 was the uh, winner for me. I love the feel, the aesthetics of both ping, the 430 and the 425, but I will tell you the 425 was considerably a lot less money for me, you know, a hundred and some dollars less um, just on the club head. And so that was the game winner. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and as you saw, you know, me, myself as a high hand or high handicap, as a mid handicap, I feel like a high handicapper some days. Um, you know, I played about an eight, 7.9 to eight something uh, last year. Uh, I was shocked and I gained 30 some yards off my fairway wood so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed again if you want to get fit go to club champion mention my name jeff herman or uh modern golf and you get a nice savings off your fitting uh, if you have any questions let us know and then again in a, in a week or so a couple weeks we will release uh, the hybrid fitting as well anyway guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time thanks guys